First round of the NLL playoffs, San Diego versus Philly. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. It's a single elimination first round of the playoffs. They're going to pass the puck around. San Diego's up by two, looking to go up by three and seal the deal. That one is saved. No, 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 no. No goal, no goal, no goal. But I trust the crowd more than the ref. And a lot of the crowd cheers right away. You can see up here, cheering right away. Over here, cheering right away. Now, look at this man. He's reserved. He's waiting to cheer. So he is the most trustful person that's got a great view of the back of the net. I'm putting all my trust in him. He waits, waits, waits. Then he starts celebrating. He sees what the ref calls it, and he says, no, that was in. That was in. That was in. So I trust him. Goalie also looks a little shaky. Looks a little like, oh, might have got away with him. The ref challenges it, which happens in the middle of play. So they blow the whistle dead because the challenge happens. That's kind of funny or interesting that they just stop play. The refs go to the screen, and they're going to try and figure out, did this one go in? Now the ball has to completely cross the line. They only have so many replays and so much time. Here's the, here's the shot again. It hits right the goalie and his humongous pads. It's going to go underneath that arm in between and has the save, and then it's going to trick go down the stick come out the back look how big his pads are absolutely ridiculous can't get over it want to enjoy the sport wish i could i do but i would more if he didn't look like that and then misses it on the first one covers gets it out so that angle you can't really tell but look at this perfect angle so the ball trickles through it's bouncing it's bouncing it's bouncing, it's going, he misses it, and then, oh, it looked like there was black in between from that point of view. A little closer. Looks like, oh, looks like there's some black in between the ball and the line from there. Now I'm going to go black and white and even closer. And obviously they can't do this, uh, but there you go. There you go. You can see a line of black. That ball is in the net. Now they can't do this on the broadcast. I, I fully understand that. But even from that first angle, the announcers saw just this and even the announcers were like that looked like it rolls over the line so they saw it in live time the goalie comes back and he's looking you know i'd say a little su suspect scared shaky please no please no coach looks like an actor i can't place guy from wild matt dillon mixed with someone else i don't know his brother is also the captain of this team the refs come back Inclusive evidence we got no goal on the floor goalie is like oh thank god because i think i saw that and i think there was some black in that oh my god i am lucky then people start throwing stuff on the field and they got to tell the whole crowd like hey don't throw stuff please So a warning here at Pachanga Arena for the fans in attendance to restrain themselves from throwing debris onto the floor. They say the next time a fan throws something, they're going to be penalized. Well, if you're a fan of the opposing team and you're down two goals, wouldn't you just throw something on the field and penalize the home team? How do they make sure that it's that happens? I don't know. It seems like. The fans can really help out. If you're a Philly player, you're like, dude, hey, throw some on field. We could use the help right now. Didn't matter. In the end, San Diego wins. They move on. Philly loses. That ball was in. They got the call wrong. Didn't matter in the end. This breakdown was brought to you by DraftKings. Thanks, DraftKings.